Oh, uh, wrenching a camera episode. Question mark. Question mark. Twelve over thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name's Reno. I'm the camera. My name is Mike. And I'm on the wrench. <laughs> this is a wrench in the camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what uh, are we talking about today? Uh, how's your week been going? It's long, long, week. dragging on long. Um, besides work, we have like this. My friends having like a fashion show on Saturday that we've been planning for months. And so we had like a bunch of Zoom meetings for Zoom meetings for that throughout the week. So it felt like another job on top of a job. But you're shooting that one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, That's there's good. a few other photographers too, but uh, yeah, we're, it's like mainly me and another guy like mainly helping him out with it. So that's happening Saturday. So I'm trying to get everything ready for that. Um, yeah, for the most part, yeah, it's pretty chill about yours. Great. Um, fairly long week. It's kind of the mental battle of being a technician, fighting with advisors and whatnot, and management. <sighs> uh, any, uh, any difficult jobs? Uh, no. The like, dealing with cars is not a problem at all. <laughs> it's, it's dealing with people. <laughs> <It's> people. <laughs> it's dealing with people. <laughs> um, this Saturday is. Starts the IMSA, the GT3 class racing. Oh, okay. Um, so you're going to go down to Daytona for the 24 hours at Daytona. Um, fortunately, well, so I was like, well, can I get off? If, if you guys want me to come in today, I just won't come in on Saturday. Yeah. So I can't have you do that because we have too many people out. Well, I guess I'm not coming in on my off day. So it's not happening. Although it would have worked in my favor, so I could just be there, be able to record the whole event. Um, I have to see. So you still got to work Saturday? Yeah. I'll probably do like a leave at 12 or something. And then okay. Go well, down to Daytona. Daytona's hours change away or, or less. What time is a Saturday event? In? It's 24 hours. Like it's, literally twenty four yeah, hours. It's the, it's that race is twenty four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like legit, yeah, it's legit. legit if you ever hours. watched um, Ford versus Ferrari, nah, I know you told me about it like three times. I need to watch this movie. Yeah, um, that that race is like an endurance race. So like, um, the cars have to be something that's on the road, and um, well, this this particular class. Cars have to be so. I was literally like on the track mm -hmm. for twenty four hours. Straight. Yeah. No so breaks. and they're yeah they they repair everything. No brakes. It's uh, you know gas tires all that stuff. So um and that's how they develop you know the road cars. So the no the R RCF in particular gets improvements or whatever from that race and from whatever races that okay. they do in Japan and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's kind of sort of how that some of that stuff works. Um, you'll notice like BMW, Porsche, maybe Mercedes, Audi, Lamborghini. Like they they actually will sell some of their stuff for the race cars. Yeah. Um, Lexus isn't that nice. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be cool if we could get that. Or I'm pretty sure if you know one day, one day when I could get in contact with these people, get get the motor. Just try to like I don't know sneak behind there. Yeah, just talk just to him a little bit. I know I had I had a uh, I went behind there once. I used to help out with the Daytona races. Yeah, on the weekends. Um, as like I forgot what we were, but we'd actually be on the track and stuff and behind in the base. Yeah. Um, so you got to like talk to a lot of cool people and see all that stuff. So um, it's definitely not that hard. You just kind of just sneak back there yeah well i mean it's gonna be money at that point like, well, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> or uh yeah if my car is down for a significant period of time then i'll have to get another one of course uh or just be carless for, <laughs> for a while <laughs> just none of that yeah none yeah of that. so it's not gonna work at <laughs> this particular time in my life but eventually eventually i'll get there um so yeah, that's that's what's going on. I just got my ticket, the passes and everything. It's kind of sad because I was like, man, because we're getting to do parade laps. 
because you know i did i went around sebring yeah. which that was really cool i was like man i could go around daytona i mean my rear tires are kind of bald but you know hey <laughs> nice. i'll make it i'll make it work i'll make it work we won't go that fast anyway it's not like we're really i mean it's a parade lap so we're not really racing so that's uh i mean it's just fun to go around the track okay yeah okay. that's what's up um did you have any any topics no. No? You didn't have any topics? <laughs> no. uh, I'm pretty sure I had some, but I actually, unfortunately, didn't write it down. You didn't write it down this time? Dang it, man. Um, nothing really has been, you know, happening like that, so I never even seen an article that I was like, oh, we could talk about that. Uh, remember I told you last week I got my, my Kaido sticker? Yeah. Right? So my wife goes, hey, you bought Pokemon cards? And I was like, what? <laughs> what, are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Anybody know Pokemon cards? I was like, yeah, there's some... There's a One Piece stuff in here, but there's there's Pokemon cards. Why'd you buy Pokemon cards? I was like, I didn't, I didn't sign up for that. Are they like ones that you can like turn around and sell? They're the newer ones. So I don't know if you looked at a Pokemon card lately, but they they throughout the generations they have the same back, mm. but then when you flip it over, you see which ones. Okay. I've been meaning to take my old my my OG cards to whatever place and you should see how much they are. Yeah, you I don't should. know, maybe get me some. Car parts, something. No, no. <laughs> yeah. My son was like, "Why are you trying to sell them?" I was like, "Cause man, nobody's playing with these things. I like them. Well, you don't look at. Well, you you don't even watch po- You don't you don't do anything with Pokemon. <laughs> you, don't do you don't do anything. What are you talking about? You just hold the card. Yeah, you Pokemon. just hold him on the card. <laughs> then he um he had him out, and then my dog he um what do you do? He bit Vaporeon. It was a holographic Vaporeon. I mean, oh, granted, vape, I, I would imagine it's not that big of a deal unless I like. Um, I probably Google it right now, and the next thing I know, I just, <laughs> it's probably worth ten k. Ten k, ten k card I had in mint condition. <laughs> my dog ate it. <laughs> ah, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, so that that was recent. Um, you know, this Cantana, like the hilt, mm-hmm. the sword or whatever for the shift knob. I, I was like, oh, I'm, I should get that because I was I was debating about switching out my leather my leather one because it, yeah. it was kind of I mean it was already worn from like the previous owner or whatever, and then the chrome was flaking and stuff. Oh, it's time for a new one. I was like, oh, well, I should just replace it. You know, get the get the red one. It's like sixty nine dollars. I was like, yeah, I mean it's just just sixty nine dollars. I'm like, you know what? I could be a little different. So I'm starting looking at different shift knobs. I was like, you know. I think the the katana would kind of go with the theme that I'm going on here with it. I guess with, with Kaido, since the whole like in the One Piece arc, Wano is basically like Japan. Yeah. Um, and they do like a lot of samurai stuff and all that stuff. So, put that in the car. And my son was like, "You wouldn't do it." So I'm like, "It's on its way." <laughs> Just try me. You <laughs> tried me. It's the best way to get swaggy. <laughs> yeah, like, you ain't gonna do that, man. That, uh, yeah, so. I know that link you sent me with the uh, Ren- Renegon eyes, yeah, lights on the car. So I ordered it right, like probably three weeks ago. Oh, uh, that was what was that on Etsy or something like that? Or Wish? yeah, Etsy. Wish you know, my first time I ever ordered something on Etsy, right? Yeah. Never got a confirmation that it shipped. Tried to look it up on Etsy, like what my order status is. Can't find it anywhere. So it's like I'm glad it was only like twenty bucks, but it's like I can't find that joker nowhere. So I was like, "What if I just got scammed?" It just straight up got scammed. <laughs> I did. So you know how like so my wife like she really likes Stitch, right? So one time I saw like these like bouquet of flowers or whatever, but there was like Stitch, and then they had like blue blue roses and stuff in them. So like you'd have one big Stitch. There's like little baby stitches and there's like little yeah. blue roses or whatever. I was like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, she'll probably like that. And then I was like, did just take my money? I didn't get no confirmation. I didn't get nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's I so got... sus when you normally be getting emails and stuff. I was like, I, I didn't get nothing. Like, nothing. So then I'm like, okay, uh, is this like one of the China companies and it just takes a really long time? Like they literally make it to order and stuff. And they're getting all the materials and then COVID happens and then everything's pushed back even further. Just like, well, let's charge it to the game, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's not, yeah, that's not be crazy. Um, are you are you gonna be like filming your trip this weekend? 
Uh, yeah, I have the I have the GoPro charge. I gotta redo the the bumper video. I like my energy in it. Oh. I don't like it. Is it on right now? Hmm. Is it on? What the bumper? No, it's not on right now. Oh. Um, no, I I just I made a video saying that I had it and oh. everything showing with the parts, but I didn't um didn't do an install because I gotta modify it. I gotta like cut it some cut it because oh, yeah. it's supposed to be a half bumper. <coughs> so the the actual walled bumper um, has carbon fiber and all these bits on it. It's like fifteen hundred, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars for it, right? Mm-hmm. So then there's this company, Shine Auto, that basically remakes everything. Because I don't know if Wald still makes them. I don't know if you can even find an authentic one. So they redo it. Still carbon fiber. It's basically the same mold or whatever, but it's just like a half piece, and then it gets. 3M on there, and then of course okay. you gotta get it painted and everything. I could get it all, uh, whatever the plastic is, or plastic with the carbon fiber pieces. I could customize it to where the the fibers are. So you're trying to figure out what they do with it. Different ways and whatnot, right? Cool. Somebody said, "Hey, I knew you was looking for a wall bumper. Here's one up on Facebook Marketplace. Everybody doesn't know. I don't have a Facebook because Michael Lohr is not a real name. Blah blah blah. We talked about this on a previous episode." Uh, so finally going back and forth with the guy, I get the piece, get the piece in, um, it's a Duraflex bumper. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Duraflex, generally speaking, isn't top quality, I guess. Yeah. Um, and then this, this one, it looks like the walled, but it's also like a full, full bumper. Um, so it's a little little also part of me is like, ah, I don't really want to put this on. But then another part of me is like, hey, man, it is what it is. It's just a cosmetic piece. It's probably going to get torn up anyway with the way you drive and, you know, the life that you live in these cars. So, um, so it's a full bumper, so that means I have to cut half of it. And then I don't want to do it and mess up, so I kind of just want the body people to do it because I'm not a body person. Mm. I do anything mechanically to a car, but... He gets to the body parts. So I was like, "All right, I can zip tie it. I can, I can get, I can get you some clamps. I can get you some clamps and everything. I can, I can make it stay on. Yeah, <laughs> don't. Yeah, I can make it stay on. But uh, anything extra, you're gonna have. Yeah, I might take it to the experts on that aspect, and it's okay. Um, so that that's where I'm at right now. I just haven't put it back in my car to go down to Paint Pros Jacks oh, okay. to do it. So. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a topic. It's something I actually want to talk about. That's <laughs> why I didn't write it down because I thought I would just remember and apparently I can't. I'm getting old. <laughs> the Acura thing that you sent me. Where the oh, the show? Anime. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I didn't watch it yet. I was like, like it's, it's cheesy. It's a typical, like, it kind of just went like this typical anime. Yeah. You know, it almost kind of reminds me of like uh, Tokyo Drift. Like okay. Sean goes to Tokyo. Uh, that is basically like the daughter. She still stays with her uncle and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I was like, it's definitely different. Like, I never really thought or expected like a automotive company to actually jump to the anime mm-hmm. theme. It's weird seeing like. It, like a cool anime style, but like with modern cars. Yeah. The Acura's cars personally don't look that great. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just like, like one of the scenes, I almost shared it on my story, but there's like the girl, I don't know what happened. I watched the whole episode, but they had like a little clip, like 30 second clip. And then like the girl, I guess she lost the race or whatever, embarrassed her uncle. So he picks her up and I guess they're in like the rdx or mdx okay one of those and you know i was like really bulky and like the front just looks horrendous i like hate the front with the fashion yeah it's they've arguably gotten better over the time but yeah personal opinion (laughs) 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 but (laughs) like like when i think of like old japanese so like almost like initial d like they hit because it kind of mirrors the initial D like artwork style. Yeah, and it's like you see much like sleek cars and stuff like that, and then you see this bulky behind. 
so that's you, I guess. <laughs> just, just what the cars got into over the times, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, it's it's cool, but also weird because they're using modern cars. Like they pop up in the NSX. Like he gives her like the NSX to drive. Like the new one. Yeah. To drift in. To race or drift? Yeah, it's weird. And I was like, okay, all right. It's brand new NSX. Just, yeah, give her a six figure. I don't know how old she is, but he's like, like <laughs> six figure car. No questions go. asked. Here's a six. Or like it's all covered <laughs> up in a garage. How nice he just like takes it off and he's like, here you go. And he's like, something about like how you drive is like you have to be one with the machine. Yeah, and, and like something about like precision driving and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I was like, all right, it's getting kind of cheesy, but. <laughs> and then he hops in and it's like all the brand new technology and stuff like that and i was like you ever look at something and you're like i don't know how i feel about this i mm. genuinely don't know how I feel. you stay in there well, that's how it was with um attack on titan i don't know if you watched attack on titan yeah I, i'm only like i heard he gets really good i'm only like made it three or four episodes in yeah so i watched two seasons of it and i was like this is the most depressing show ever seen in my life it's it's quite sad like every the, episode you have no hope just, you know <laughs> like you know you watch dragon ball it's like you go always get to the next level watch naruto you never go back on your ninja way i mean on your word because that's his ninja way you know one piece go after your dreams attack on titan there's no hope for humanity it's every edit <laughs> the end of the episode for like five ep- five to seven episodes they were like there's no hope for humanity. And then everyone's like, yeah, season three is really good. Bro, I got to watch two whole seasons of trash. That's how I felt about, that's how I felt about One Piece. Like, One Piece gets good after like season two. I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and watch. Because I can't just jump because then there's a whole bunch of stuff yeah, that's yeah, happened. Yeah. That, like, I'm going to be lost it's, in. But the whole like Attack on Titan, I'm, like, I've seen like, uh, you know how people do like fan artwork and videos and stuff like that? Yeah. That, you've seen the one of Madara? Oh yeah, yeah, the tight modern tight, and he goes to Sano and just like wipes out. Yeah, because <laughs> everybody, this is boring. <laughs> and he dies. Oh uh, man, uh, I haven't watched. I haven't watched that new. I've watched started watching Wagon Midnight on. Um, it's on YouTube. I can't find it on any streaming service. What's is that, that about? That one's about the the two eighty Z. Okay. Um, and the Porsche. Nine, nine something, the old one of the old ones back there, back then, and um, I guess it's like a curse, two eighty Z fair lady, and um, they did an L thirty two swap, blah blah blah. It's basically the R R B before the R B. Okay. And um, but the guy keeps on crashing the car, and everyone's like, it's cursed and it's a possessed car, and blah blah blah, and uh, yeah, I was like, oh, was, no some type of automotive anime gotta watch it <laughs> how'd you watch it. how'd you like find out about it uh it keeps popping up on youtube for I like the suggested videos yeah. um That's yeah i yeah. watched initial d clips and then you know he you know, watched you like that and watch this type thing yeah you had to send me a clip to that but um yeah they got the whole some people got like the whole playlist on there there's only 26 episodes i was like All right, i can watch this yeah I don't know. <laughs> but I had brought up the accurate thing, so I was like, I thought it was pretty cool. Just in a general sense of how they kind of shifted, I guess, trying to promo their the new yeah. lineup of vehicles to like an animated, get like, I guess, like a younger crowd. Yeah. And get to them. I was like, it's kind of kind of creative. I, I gotta, respect it. You got to make one better cars and two <laughs> afford- more affordable cars, too. <laughs> yeah. But nothing beats that, uh, that whole Type R reveal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst reveal I've ever seen. Yeah, it was kind of bad. But they, they said that they couldn't. There's no way they couldn't make that car again like that, anyway. So it like, I feel like anybody that had hopes for it to look another way was like had their head in their sand. Had had their head in the sand. Is I mean, um, all the Integra was was a Civic. It's it reshelled. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna at least like yeah. I could have at least made it like a hatch, two door hatch. Yeah, unless you, I mean like I don't care. If you, like obviously you could have still kept the same style, but you could have at least made it a typical two door hatch mm-hmm. like all Integras were. 
this is definitely not a two door hatch or <laughs> you to four door door. Hatch. well i mean Five. thirty thirty thousand dollars i would imagine that person is you know they got you know you got a hatch think about other things in life you want space got cargo room go on trips <laughs> <laughs> you don't care about lap times <laughs> I mean, shoot, I got the RSX DC5. I I can get lap time. I ain't got cargo space. <laughs> I hauled that whole take my whole kitchen table in there. <laughs> right around you getting it. I can't flow back. I can't flow down my back seats. That's tragic. Yeah. So it I might. mean, they got the little armrest thing with the hole that goes through. So like, if I had something really long, I guess uh, it does nothing. But I yeah. was like, yeah, <laughs> it's so, rarely a use for that. Um, even maybe, my Mazda can. Back seats pull down. Yeah, they did. They what they say? They said that they didn't allow that on the ISF because it helps with the chassis rigid, rigidity. So like, I get, I get that, but something solid, I guess. But functionality of it does really work. Sometimes you know, wife be selling out sometimes about the car. Like she <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> like, she likes it. <laughs> but then she's like. You can't fold down the back seats. It's like, nah, we gotta take your car. <laughs> hey, uh, we we gotta go somewhere. Your car only holds four people. I said, yep. <laughs> Has, does she have like any interest in like cars? Uh, like, like, you think if like you did like a track day and just had her like drive? Eventually, like, uh, she she claimed to like the Camaro, but I told her like from jump, I was like there's no. You can't see out of that thing. Like it's only literally designed for you to look straight. Yeah, the, like the, the peripheral visibility kind of <laughs> horrible. The giant a pillars, giant everything is. Exactly. The windows small. Like, what? Why? Why do they even do this? And then it got progressively uglier as time went on. I don't understand why the Camaro looks the way it does. They didn't even go mm-hmm. retro. Like everyone else went, else went retro styling, and Camaro was like, "Nah, we gotta do something different." Mm-mm. Everybody's trying to stand out and do their thing. I don't, I don't think it don't work out every time. <laughs> <laughs> except except for like the SS or ZL one, I guess. But like those, the ZL, yeah, the ZL one looks pretty nice. You got all the aggressive styling from the factory, so I mean, and you don't even need to lower it. Honestly, I think, I think everything. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty low as is. Yeah, and all the, I think it comes with all the bumper and size, but it's like sitting pretty close to the ground anyway yeah that's okay yeah because i was like ah, i always thought about that i was like wonder if like it'd be a fun little video yeah eventually i think eventually she was like yeah i would want one later but it's not now yeah that's understandable yeah Yeah. so um supposed to be like a lot of car events this year and we got have you been to Swerve? Did you go to Swerve last year? No, you didn't. No, I haven't gone to Swerve. I've been to, been to Clean Culture, Elite Tuner, um, Simply Clean, and Delexus events. Oh yeah. So, I think yeah. I've only been to Swerve, Clean Culture, and what's that? Uh, there's another one. I can't think of the name. It was also in Daytona, though. Kind of want to go to one like maybe like in Georgia or something. Isn't um. Never mind, I can't think of any of the car bits. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's one like Gatlinburg. Oh, uh, up in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. I heard that was pretty popular. Um, but that's also like to me is like it's kind of a trip. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little ways up there. The the, I think like video like rock watching crispy and Halcyon and all of them like the videos look lit. So it was like, oh man, go to the car show and the car show is not like the video. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, good job, crispy. Good job. Good job. <laughs> hey, that's how you know it's a good videographer when they do an event and it looks lit and they yeah, make it. You, I go there and it's like it's. <laughs> Yeah, like the event could like be pretty lame. Yeah, and then you can make it look like it was like all crazy. Like I always watch uh, Big Apple Magic's uh, Simply Clean videos, and I was like, man, yeah. you can go to Simply Clean. I mean, Simply Clean was cool. Like it had food trucks out and everything like that. I didn't like 
clean culture because one, the parking situation was trash. <laughs> I yeah, can't didn't y'all had to park like three miles away, bro? <laughs> bro, and y'all only came like they said we couldn't park. So clean culture was at Daytona yeah. Speedway, right? They had the whole parking lot, the whole parking lot outside the like actual track. It was empty. No one could park there. So we had to park at Target and stuff like that. It was, yeah. I was, yeah. Wife was like, why? Why do we, why, why, why do they make us do this? We parked at Target across the street and then had to walk all the way in. She was like, and we have to pay for this? <laughs> and we have to pay for this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was pretty bad. I actually got there pretty early. Yeah. But still, the parking lot, we literally sat in line for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Waiting to get in and park. And then like an hour later, walking around, it's like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing like about like the car shows. They're they're cool. And then there, it was the whole COVID thing too. So it was like, okay, we're not really supposed to be having too much people around but we got to have people we got to have people around yeah. to make money for the car show but then we can't have no real events or like activities for anybody to do because yeah. then that's just going to spread more and then everybody's sick after they leave clean culture um but yeah they they didn't and then they didn't really have good food options um did they have music like live like a live show or anything like that well, they had music, but it wasn't a live, yeah. not a live show. I would, I would want to go to um, like Swerve. I know Swerve Fest had live. Hyperfest. Yeah, they had to. Um. Oh, we went to FL Two K. Oh yeah, yeah. FL Two K. Um, Street Kings is next month. Where's it's basically at? the same place. No, it's further down. It's um Palm Beach Raceway, I think. Okay. Because I think they're closing. Is that the one that they were closing that you thought was at FLT? Yeah, I think they're closing. They're closing that one, so they're trying to get as much events going down there. Um, I like to. I like to go to a like an FD event too, though. Oh, okay. See, see, like the actual drifting, or whatever. You know what? They My, just had. They just had. A, they just had some kind of drift event. Clutch kickers. Clutch kickers. I think clutch kickers is what, what you're talking about. And then, of course, uh, may, maybe maybe this year, LZ's invitation. <laughs> is that is that a yearly thing? I think so. I think he does that yearly. Okay. I only remember, like, one time. I think, I think yeah. He's, did, done, I think he's done one every every oh, okay. year. I mean, I just don't pay attention. But if he, does it, if he does it this year, I'm definitely trying to go yeah. to that but, one. Well, yeah, we'll we'll try to make that happen. Well, no, we. Well, yeah, we'll try to make that we'll happen. Try, I'll, I'll try, try, no, no problems. We'll no try, problems. <laughs> try, try to make that uh, happen. So we're uh, after after church, right? My son comes in there. He's like, "Hey, I'm using a manual, and I don't. Why is it? Why is it? Um. Why is it not going faster?" And like I like it here as a car. <laughs> like, I was like, dude, you gotta shift up. It's like if I shift up, it goes slower. I was like, well, yeah, you gotta let off the gas so you could go up some more in RPMs. And then again, <laughs> I was like, bro, you have to shift. That's the whole purpose of having a manual. He's like, you don't have to shift in your car. I was like, well, because mine's automatic, but I have the manual mode just like you're doing right now. Like, I can't sit on, I mean, I can sit on limiter, but it's not good to sit on limiter. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta I said, babe, that's it. We're buying an Xbox. We're buying Forza right now. <laughs> My son doesn't know how to drive a manual. And this is messing with me. It's either I buy a whole other car or I'm buying an Xbox. Cheap <laughs> or buy an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's not going she's, fast. She, said. <laughs> she was like, she's like, oh my gosh, I can't deal with you. I was like, hey man, we gotta get it. Now we have to get an Xbox. So <laughs> okay, I got Xbox, two controllers, and Forza. That's it. It's the only game we're gonna. It's the only game I'm gonna play. I mean, I, I get Gears of War, Halo. Yeah. I'll do that, but yeah, maybe Forza. Yeah. That was uh, that was my Sunday. That was very interesting. <laughs> I was like, dude. <laughs> you gotta kill me. Yo. <laughs> Dang. I mean, I, they should be getting cheaper, I guess. 
Yeah. I mean, the the thing with the one without the disc was only like two ninety nine or something like that. Oh, yeah. one. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. They should be like cheap. That's the one I got. That's the one I was selling. It was like yeah. cheap to get. One ninety nine. I was like, yeah, you don't, you don't need a a disc version, and it's smaller too. Yeah, everything's going. Everything's digital. going digital. Going digital anyway. And then like, <laughs> she doesn't like the PlayStation sometimes because the PlayStation, for whatever reason, we can't get stars on it. I don't. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I can't. I mean, I type in stars and it's not on the app list. I think it's a part of like some other app hmm. like yeah. But yeah but i read that they got rid of like hulu got rid of stars and then uh i know like uh hbo has like some sections or whatever hbo max has his own app though yeah <laughs> which is like so then we get a roku so we have the roku out there now so then i was like well why do we need a playstation i was like i mean we we, we play games on it <laughs> hey, she's a fun you killer. Play, she's play trying game. to get rid of all the other games. Play games. <laughs> and then, uh, like you know, when so I don't know if like the internet they get gets messed up here or whatever. But I don't know if you ever yeah. noticed, but like Netflix stays strong no matter what. Yeah, it could be a whole hurricane outside. All the towers, all the towers out. Netflix is still working. Then the wind blows too hard. Disney Plus goes out. Who <laughs> <laughs> goes out? HBO HBO Max can't can't load all these type of errors. You go to Netflix, it's working. So then we got DVDs. So it's like, man, they don't have this. I gotta go buy a DVD. It's like, bruh, you buy a DVD. Then the next month it comes out on streaming services and it's just there. That's why I don't I don't buy movies anymore. I don't even really like buy video games when they first come out because like a few months later they want discount sales. Yeah, they're gonna drop it. Don't have to be the first. That'd be the first with everything anymore. And no, I don't, I don't I, care anymore. I learned it's better just to just chill and wait. Yeah, <laughs> we were talking about that when we were going to like to see the premieres of movies. So then you know it was midnight, right? And then they dropped it down to like ten, and then it moved down to nine, yeah. and then it was just like, bro, it's just a regular, just well, this regular watching. It's just a regular watching. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're gonna go see the premiere at seven. It's like, what? Nah, man, I'm not rushing. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Like I remember, you used to uh, to to be able to see it the day almost like a couple of hours before, like six or something on a Thursday. Six yeah, or seven on a Thursday. You had to get like these special tickets, and you only be invitation only. Yeah, and like the only reason like, I remember going one time, and it was to see Monsters Inc. Yeah, because my our uncle, my friends, my dad's friend, worked at Frito Lay, and he got like special movie tickets that he took like. He got it for his family and our family. Yeah, and it, that's when we had to see it, and like barely anybody in the theater. And I was like, <clears throat> I remember so that yeah, so that time they would do the special tickets, but then, like you were saying, yeah. After that, it's like there really is no special like midnight release anymore. It's kind of yeah. just like <laughs> yeah. It's, at this point, I was like, you guys are just doing a money grab. Y'all don't care about the special premiere times. Where's the AMC app at? You know, you can rent out the theater now. Yeah, I saw that. Don't I don't know, like, I was like, "What movie would I would I really want?" Like, I wonder, can you like play your own movies <laughs> or something? Like, pick whatever movie you want, even if they don't like have it like specially showing it in theaters at this time. I would update that. Oh, never mind. But yeah, I did see that. And then they had some kind of like I saw some section for like party zone or whatever. Yeah, uh, I didn't know what that meant. If people have parties in movie theaters now? I'm guessing you could bring your own food. I, I would hope you'd be able to bring your own food at that point. If I can't bring my own food and I rented out the whole theater, it's like, bro. But crazy. what are we watching? At that point, I mean, okay, so when you watch a movie with your significant other, that's one thing. But when you watch a movie like like 10, 30 people, that's not, it's not even really... Just, just like if you were going to see it regularly, <laughs> honestly, say, you just happen to know most of the people. Yeah, there. I mean, it did. Even then, you can't talk to everybody. You ever been to like a big dinner party thing at a restaurant? Oh yeah, you always end up just going into groups and just like talking. To yeah, and like, I'm just directly next you know, to you. The birthday person's way down there. I'm at the other end of the table. I'm just like, oh yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, but it, you know, <laughs> about hey. yeah, it's not. <laughs> Sad about that. Or like, uh, so when my sister was in town, so it's my sister, husband, niece, nephew, sister, husband, niece, nephew. It's eight people, three of us, 11 parents. 
we were at we were at Cheesecake Factory. I can't hear everybody. I don't know what everybody's saying. What? <laughs> <laughs> It'd been easier if he was just at home. But it's my niece's birthday. She wanted a Cheesecake Factory, so that's what we did it. But yeah, I feel like Cheesecake Factory doesn't have the hype like it used to. Like it's kind of eh. <laughs> yeah. You go there. I don't know. They, they say when you get older, your palate changes. So you like different stuff. I don't know. To me, it's just like the first time I went, it was like, cool. This place is pretty fancy. Yeah. It's the fancy. food's okay, but the cheesecake is really, really good. Yeah. There. So I was like, when I ate there for the food, I was like, nah, oh, it's okay. When yeah. I got a cheesecake, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What, what cheesecake you get? First one was a vanilla bean, and then I got some like cookie dough type yeah. cake, uh, cheesecake. Um. But I'm pretty basic. I just stick to like (laughs) 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 get that OG cheesecake, regular, (laughs) regular cheesecake. I get the red velvet, the red velvet cheesecake, and the carrot, the carrot cheesecake. Uh, My wife likes the cookies and cream. My son wanted the chocolate, whatever, 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 and I was just like, "Bro, you're not gonna eat that." You're not gonna eat that, man. Yes, I will. It's like you're not, you're not, you're, you're not gonna do it. Did you eat, <laughs> did you eat it? No, did you he did it. it. No, he did it. He did it. <laughs> How much of it did he eat? Or did he touch it at all? Yeah, he ate like some of it. I don't know. This is one of those things. Is always like he had to prove prove me wrong. I was like, bro, it's okay. you're not gonna do it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Can you? He's, he's basically like, going to you what she did to him. Yeah, before. can you try it? Just try it out first or something like that. That's all I'm trying to say, man. That's all I'm trying to say. I do like. I do want him to try. You know, new things or whatever. But there's things I'm just like, nah. You been to uh, Jack's place before? Where's that at? Um. Off like Rojero. It's like this Jamaican place. Jack Spice. Get it for work. Oh, over on it's on the south side. Yeah. 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 I'm, I have a horrible sense of direction, so you just uh, yeah. <laughs> saying spices. Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, we get the we used to get the jerk chicken from there, um, and then some people used to get curry. Curry. They, from they there. started like making like mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get uh yeah, I haven't been there in a while. Uh, usually I don't like getting too much stuff that I have to sit down and eat. Like they be trying to get yeah man, we about to go to Olive Garden. I was like, bro, I get Olive Garden, I'm gonna be worthless. I can't I can't fix nothing with Olive Garden in my stomach. Can't do that. Can't, what do you what do you get from Olive Garden? I get steak the steak gorgonzola Alfredo. The yeah. I get that. Or the um, chicken and shrimp car- car- carbona? Car- Gar- um, or whatever that is. But yeah. I've been there like... <laughs> it was the last time I went to Olive Garden. It was probably three or four months ago. Yeah. And then I, before that, it's probably been like two or three years. Yeah, we used to go there a lot when, we were, when me and my wife were dating, but... I, for some reason, only remember it as a salad bar. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just remember, for some reason, I just think of a salad you got bar. CC's, you got CC's mixed up with the. Uh, I don't know what it was. Because that's why also why well, I haven't no, been well, in a while. Because I'm like, I just remember a salad bar. They got that, um, this unlimited soup and salad. I think that's what it was. You can go, they had a bar where you just go and make your own stuff. But it's like. At least back in the day, for some reason, that's all I remember when I was little, walking in there and just seeing, like, telling my parents, I'm going to go get yourself a salad. And just, like, that's all I remember. Like, I, don't I don't remember I, nothing else. I don't think Olive Garden ever had a soul serve. I think you got another place confused, brother. I don't know what you I'm thinking. You know I haven't been? Carabas. Is Carabas like that? Maybe it's Carabas. I haven't been to Carabas in Maybe. I just years. Remember, I just remember, like, a, like. The main thing is being solid. Yeah. That's why I never went back to Olive Garden. Because I thought, at least that's what I thought that's what it was. And so I went again. And I was like, this doesn't remind me anything of like that experience. Yeah, we always try to go to like some, like a newer restaurant or something like that. If we, if we do go out. Because like we've been to Olive Garden, we've been out back, we've been to all those places. Mm. Just generic food. So then try out, you know, these mom and pop places or these. 
yeah. specialty places now. There's uh, you been a hot pot? Yeah. On the beach, yeah, it's pretty cool. I love hot yeah. pot. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of the first time we went, we messed up, but then when we went back with my sisters and everything, I got it. And we now we have our own hot pot, so we can do that at home. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But it's a spacing issue, so it's like it can be very, <laughs> it can be, it can be very intimate. <laughs> <laughs> when we, when we, all right, everybody, we're gonna get real close tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then we got to put the dog away because he be up in everybody's face. He won't mess with my plate, but he'll mess with with uh, her plate and my son's plate. Like he he'll get on it. <laughs> like <laughs> he knows he knows not who not to mess he'll try with. <laughs> he mess around, get the food out your mouth. He play play around with him. So what's, what's that? He be <laughs> dang. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, stand that. He be so like he'll like he'll he'll sniff. He's sniffing and he's licking his lips, right? But then he'll <laughs> and when he exhales, like he like he does mist. Oh. He'll miss you. I was like, bro, this is disgusting. He does all the time. Just give me some space. Give me some space, man. Oh my gosh. Ah. Did you okay? John had him as a puppy, right? Yeah. How was that? What what kind of dog is he? He is a Labrador. American Bulldog mix. All right. So how was how was him as a puppy? Okay. So I'm at work, you know, working, minding my business. My wife texts me, "Hey, can we get a dog?" No, no, we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, all right, no, no, no. We're not, we're not getting a dog. So obviously, for what? She can bet you somehow. All right. <laughs> um, they're free. <sighs> all right. So now I don't really have an excuse anymore because you know it's money that we don't need to be spending but if it's free then all right uh is it okay with our landlord yeah i guess we got a dog now i guess we, I guess we got a dog now which one and he sends me all these pictures so this brown one this gray one dark brown light brown gray black and i was like i don't think i want a girl dog uh, the gray was really nice but it was a girl dog and i was like i don't think i want a girl dog let's get you know let's get a boy dog um so then we got him first he was like you know kind of scared or whatever i think the first first night we fed him fed him so like hit we walk in his dog thing whatever and then like it's the kitchen carpet mm-hmm. he ate he runs around a little bit comes back he throws up <laughs> baby threw up but he'll pick it back up he eats the throw up i was like bro this is ridiculous peas so then so then we had to like you know potty train us so like everyone having a puppy like you got to be there all right so he's peeing Poop in the house, and then it got to the point where we're like, all right, he's about to do it. So we run to the back, <laughs> run to the back, run to the back, get to the point to where like he knows, all right, I'm not supposed to do this inside the house. Yeah, take him. He'll he'll go to the back door, but like you can't just be like, uh, hey man, he's at the door. Well, he'll he'll just have to wait. No, all right, don't let him <laughs> pee and poop right there. Just get him out. So then <laughs> a couple seconds to go. <laughs> he'll he'll pee right on the patio. I was like gosh and then you go out there and it smells like peas and then i had to clean up the patio um so then got to point now to where he he um you know he's fully potty trained he's fine uh he likes morning walks when we go into morning walks like he's like ready for me to you know get up or whatever uh he he's his cage now is so he freaks out he freaks out like when we leave I guess dogs get anxiety yeah. like really bad. Yeah. So he'd be frothing at the mouth if he's left in the cage. Like he's freaking out. I was like, bro, just, just go to sleep. That's all you gotta do, just go to sleep. And then the mess up thing is, like, every time we get him a bed, he wants to tear it up. I was like, well, you did this. It's uncomfortable in here because it's you. You you destroyed it. You destroyed the bed. You destroyed the blankets. And then now you're on this hard floor because cause you did it. All right. So then that thing began to stink so bad, right? Because, I mean, we will clean it. We'll clean it or whatever. But then a dog is still going to do dog stuff. Yeah. So then now Caleb's room is funky. 
Because I was like, we don't have no space in here, and we're not doing... I, I don't want him in the room. <laughs> she was like, well, he's not going to the living room. So then he's in, Caleb was like, well, he could be in my room. So then he's in there. Then Caleb's room sinks, so then now I'm lighting candles. My son, he was like... Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, man, why is there water in the candles? <laughs> what you mean, daddy? <laughs> Bro... Bro, <laughs> the candles are there. <laughs> One, get rid of bad odors. Two, make the house smell good. <laughs> and I like the ambiance. All right, why are you? What What are you doing? He said, He's like, I like the ambiance. He was bro. like, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want the house to catch fire. It's in the holder. <laughs> it's in the holder. Yo. So. One candle is completely ruined because he poured the water in it, and then the <laughs> he didn't just think just to like blow it out. The water went underneath. <laughs> well, you, you played with fire when you was a kid, so I don't. I I give him that. I like because I played. I was a pyro when I was a kid. I don't think I ever like tried to like pour it out of the water though. Yeah, I, I played with fire because when the so what happened was the wax hardened right, so the water was in between it. So it actually looked kind of cool. Oh. Uh, um, like look, um, hard to, hard to describe it, but yeah, the water was all in between everything. So then I'm trying to pour out the water, light the candle, get everything. So it'll light temporarily, and then it'll go back out because there's still water soaked up in the wax. So I was like, well, this is ruined. Throw this away. At least it wasn't one of my good ones. If it was one of my good ones, I'd have been upset. So I don't keep those out there no more because he's just gonna do some type of experiment, and I'm not for. I'm not for that. But yeah. Um, yeah, having a dog's an experience. She wants another one. I say we can't get another dog until we get a house. And then we're only really do a two dog maximum. We're not finna be. Like, I wanted one growing up. And then I, I guess eventually I just got over got over it. Yeah, so I, um, I was asking because I, I did have a dog here for like maybe like a month. Yeah. And it was an Aussie. Mm. Hyperactive. Yeah. Very, very hyper. It wasn't potty trained when I got her. Still, I still a puppy. And <clears throat> when I tell you, I had to wake up. I had like no sleep. I literally had to wake up. This dog every single hour had to poop and pee. Not an exaggeration. Every literal hour. Yeah, when they're a puppy, you. <laughs> yeah. When they're a puppy, you got to be on them. So like, so it worked out because Jamesha, she works from home. So it's like, okay, it's cool. So you just go back and forth. Whatever. Watch the dog. Um, no, at that time, she was 50-50, I guess, or 75-20 or whatever. Whatever the case was, she was able to flex yeah. back and forth to where we could, you know, keep out of the dog. Because I could only imagine, like, both of us having to be out 12 hours and coming home and then the dog's like, as soon as he gets out the cage, pee poop. It's like, yeah, that'd be too much. Yeah, yeah. so, um, obviously, it was just me here, and I, like, work, like, obviously, I don't work that far, but, like, everyone comes, like, oh, it's okay, just bring, bring her, bring her with you, whatever. Yeah. I was like, all right, cool, we're right here, like, I wish she, like, run, she, they're so hyperactive. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know what Ozzy is. What's that? Australian Shepherd. So is it a big dog, small dog, um, medium dog? It's pretty big. Yeah. They do have, like, smaller versions. But she was a big version. She's um, like sitting down, her head would probably be up like here. She's pretty big. As a puppy? No, as a as a puppy, she was about like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's probably like that big. Yeah, but she Creed, she did grow pretty fast though. Within like a Creed, couple weeks, she was like. Creed was probably like, you know. Yeah. When I have when, to pick at you. when I first got her, she was probably about like yeah this big. Um, by the time I had to like give her away, she'd be like that big. Yeah. yeah she's big. She's active. Love the dog, but it's like to pooping and peeing everywhere. And then she got sick one time. Yeah. And then she had like really bad like diarrhea. And the fact that she also like at night like has to like keep going every couple of hours, like at a certain yes. point like I wake up, like if I didn't like wake up in time, like she like literally like pooped all over herself, which is like sad. And it was like, oh, I feel so bad. 
This is disgusting. Like, I felt bad for her, but at the same time, I was like, it's kind of like really bad. And I had to do it like twice. So I had to basically give her a bath every time, <laughs> every morning. <laughs> this is really bad. And it's happened because my, my friend, he was over, um, I think I went to like a car event or whatever. And I was like, hey, can you watch my dog? He has a dog, like a golden doodle or something like that. Yeah. Um, pretty big. Like, he's a huge dog. And like, hey, can you watch, can you watch Nyla for me? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I love the dog, right? She has a personality. This is when I found out how big her personality was, right? The dog is this big. She's like this big. Yeah. Man, right? She was bullying the mess out of him. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Literally beat out there play fighting and she was beating the crap out of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's crazy. And like she catch it, she would catch an attitude. Like he would tell her to do something and she'd kind of just look at him like crazy. And I tell her to do something, like she would look at me for like a split second and then I like, go do it when she realized like, all right, serious. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there's a few times you gotta, you know, let the dog know, say, Hey man, don't you gotta relax. Yeah. <laughs> but the funny before then before I dropped her off, she wasn't barking or anything like that. Yeah. Like she didn't have her voice yet. I didn't use her voice. As soon as I pick her up, she's barking up a storm. <laughs> And like and then take her home, she's like barking and barking. I was like, bro, what'd you do to my dog? <laughs> she was quiet. She's quiet. It nice was cool. Nice cool. Now dog. She won't shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he was like, Oh yeah, I told her how to speak. And I was like <laughs> I was like, I hate you. <laughs> Creed really thinks he's a human Creed Creed likes Creed likes uh he likes human food. He eats everything. Like there's been times so like so Caleb, he would, he can't sit down and eat. You know, mm-hmm. you sit down, you finish, yeah. you finish your meal, you put your plate up, you're done with yeah. it, right? He, he, sit, he eats, he gets up, runs around, comes back, sits down, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever. <laughs> we was already done at that point, whatever, because we sometimes we eat at a table, sometimes we you know we eat on the couch, whatever. Um, Creed. Goes up there, knows that we're all not looking. His plate's spotless. <laughs> Dad, what happened to my food? I like, guess the dog ate it, dude. Like, this is what I've been telling you, man. You <laughs> finish your food. <laughs> finish your food. Yeah, he, he uh, or like when we used to sit, like if we was on the couch right here, right? When he was a puppy, he'd be so mad because he couldn't get up here. So we'd have, you know, he'd be, yeah. <laughs> so then we pick him up and then he's fine put him up there but then you know then he's scared to jump down blah 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 and then he finally got the courage to jump down uh so that worked i like when he was little though because i didn't have to put him on the leash he'll stay by yeah <laughs> i like that that was cool uh we used to run he used to run that'd be great but like now i can't let him off the leash because lord knows where he's gonna go um that was, it was the opposite because, like, when she was a puppy, like, she would run all over the place. Yeah. But, uh, I, had to, I had to keep her on a leash. Cause yeah. She'd go buck wild. And any, like, any person calls her, she's <laughs> yeah. dart, and I never had to catch her again. But then she got a little bit older. She learned, like, to walk with me. And then if she had to go, then she'd just go off and, like, oh, yeah. I need to go do my thing and I'll come back. Um, I don't know what there was. It was, like, literally, a, like, it was a moment to where he was, like, yeah. And then he got to a certain size where he was like, I just got to stretch my legs. And he would dart out. Like, we opened the door a little bit too long. He ran straight out. And then, like, everything's a game with him. So he's like, oh, you can't catch me. He's like, bro, you about to die. Like, you, there's cars coming. You're crossing the street. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Calm down. Come back in here where it's safe. Not out here in the world. It's like, you do- hey, it's you like run- me. I'm too fast, boy. Oh, <laughs> stressed me out. Bringing one time, they called me. I was like, we can't find a dog. He got out from a parent's house. I was like, I'm on the south side. You guys live in Orange Park. I don't. <laughs> yeah, like I care, but I can't do anything about it. So I mean, it was just like, well, I mean. Guess he's gone. Uh, he's, <laughs> what do I, yeah, he's like, he's like, what do I say? What do I say? <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. But I no, nah, it was it was cool. But it was just like it was kind of like it was a lot. 
And I was like, the ruin my carpet was completely destroyed, <laughs> like a couple yeah. weeks. And then like, uh, they're just like so, they're one of the most active breeds. Yeah. So you constantly have to get them like moving, or else they get like depressed. Mm. And I was like, yeah, I don't really have the space here for that. Like, I try my best, but I have to keep on going out. But it's like, and I got other stuff I want to do. And it's hard because yeah, I would work, and this time I had like a lot of shoes and stuff doing on the side. It's like I barely had like time to just like yeah chill and i was like maybe this isn't like a good idea of a dog right now yeah this is, so i had to get into my uh friends they're married that i already had a house in the yard already had a dog too and she's been over there for like every couple a few times so they like and uh, a friend like she she really wanted a dog anyway like another yeah. one so like something else to kind of take care of so like all right perfect situation <laughs> But, <laughs> but yeah, it was like wow. I was like, oh my god, it's stressful. I was like this dog is like a. I had a literal love hate relationship with this mm. puppy. Like I love you to death. And sometimes, especially like she loves riding in the car with me. Yeah. And then like I had the AC on. She would like just drop down to the floor with the little AC vents by the feet and just mm. lay down there all the time. It's the cutest thing ever. Like, mm-hmm. Always like go to sleep in the car. And then like when you're up and active, like you swear to God, you're the devil. <laughs> no, Creed, <laughs> Creed like, has geez. never been in my car. <laughs> Creed has never been in my car. He, so we, <laughs> in the Pathfinder, it's three rows. Usually we have the third row down. So like we either put him in a trunk or back there with Caleb. Um, as soon as we get the move in, he climbs up to the front. Either he goes on my lap while I'm driving or he goes on her lap. <laughs> Or he's going back and forth. Hey, bro, chill out. <laughs> hey, we, hey, man. He's gotten kind of better, but like, dude, you can't. I think, I think it's a universal thing. You can't do anything. Once the dogs are in the car, they just go to the lab. You can't. <laughs> so, like, when he was a puppy, yeah, he was, he, you know, he got right underneath the, uh, the vent, like you said. Like, he chilled down there. You know, he had his little thing. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna stick my head out the window. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. We were buying beds for him. Let me buy another bed, buy another bed, buy another bed, and it was just like, bro, you're not getting another bed. <laughs> it is what it is. You just gotta be on the blankets. <laughs> it is what it is. Or we, uh, I don't know. Maybe we get a house. We got we could clean him more often so he doesn't have that dog scent as bad. Because sometimes he's just. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a lot. So now the goal is, like, <clears throat> I do want to get a dog again, but I was like, I do want to wait till I get a house. I feel like it's just more beneficial yeah. to have a house. And you're and on like, the second floor, too, so, like, yeah, running. It wasn't that bad, because after, like, a couple of times, like, I just literally just, like, watch it just run up the stairs. So, like, yeah, you just, I'm not carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, because I also kind of wanted a trainer to, get, like, be able to start jumping and, like. Oh, yeah? And stuff like that. Which, <clears throat> turned out not to be a good thing. <laughs> At any point, she just like would just jump on everything. But yeah. she can run up, like she would like run up those stairs, like after mm. she got big enough. At first, it was kind of cute because like, oh, you can't climb up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> you're too, yeah. uh, you're too uncoordinated. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he would have to think, he would think about it, and then didn't hop up or whatever. But Creed, he, um, yeah, it was, it would be a cool, cool thing to have uh, commands and whatnot with him, but. Ain't nobody got time for all that. I don't know. Yeah. And then, like, like, so Aussies are, like, they're really, really, really smart. Yeah. But they're also stubborn. Like, <laughs> like super stubborn. Creed is 100% about doing what he wants to do when he yeah. wants to do it. Yeah. That's that. That's how that, that thing was. It was, like, a constant argument. Like, do this. And like, mm. <laughs> 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 uh, Something, like, most of the time I do it, but... I don't feel like doing it today. Yeah. <laughs> you doing my own thing. So, yeah, it's, you talk about, like, dogs. So, like, yeah, it's, like, uh, eventually I do want to get another one. Do want to get an Aussie because they're – I love the Australian Shepherds. They're cute. Mm. But girls do have an attitude, though. So, it's, like, mm, yeah. But, yeah, goal is to get a house eventually, hardwood floors, get my old interior design thing back and going. Google SketchUp. I think I have a friend out with Google SketchUp. And I was like, I remember how much fun I had with this program. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty neat. <laughs> but yeah, that program. It was cool. So, um, how much time do we have? Uh, it's almost been an hour. Like 
five minutes. Kind of just wing, wing, winged it today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I like, I think the main topic was that, uh, the Acker thing I saw when he first start, first sent it to me. And I was like, oh, I had like a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about. And I like, kind of like, completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I've been busy and then nothing's really been, nothing really been happening otherwise. Um, Try to try to see other topics. Let's just start start digging into stuff that we really care about. <laughs> <laughs> you do do some actual research on some stuff. Start start reporting some things. I guess uh, <laughs> that's what you, that's where we're gonna go. <laughs> Run out of topics and things to do. I don't know. I was like, maybe we're uh, too consistent with this. <laughs> too consistent. It's like we need is more. There, is there such a such a thing? I was like, we need such more topics. Right. Like, I gotta do more things in life other than just work. <laughs> just work. I was like, oh man, so you probably had to start getting some guests on here then. Yeah. So start doing start doing some things. Yeah, start doing some things. Next, next one. Uh, yeah, I guess I mean, unless you have somebody, that's for sure it's gonna come. Unless you want to do the cheesesteak thing. Oh yeah. I may try and do the cheesesteak thing the next time. Depends on how the work is. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I might have to, like, think of some more topic stuff. It's sometimes, like, the camera stuff is, like, it can get technical yeah. sometimes. So I don't know, how, like, how much people really care about that. But I guess we'll find out. Because there's a couple of things I could talk about. So I guess I'll just talk about it next time. About camera stuff? Yeah. Oh, people talk about it all the time about how they don't really care about cars, but they they care about the how <laughs> passionate I get sometimes about it. So I just sit there and listen. Yeah. Again, there's not too many people I could talk to cars about. It's, yeah. And, I mean. That's, that's kind of like how uh, usually when you're passionate about something. Yeah. It's hard to find like other people that are like as equally passionate about it's it. the same level. They're not there. Yeah, so I was like, uh, but we do enjoy like watching other people be passionate about something. So yeah, um, so yeah, so probably next time I'll go ahead and do these deep camera discussions. Yeah, write together. them down. Yeah, I and write I, it up. that's my bad habit. I remember writing stuff down. And I gotta I, go find. I gotta go find some more other stuff. I actually search search the web. <clears throat> and then we got a. Um, we definitely have. Oh, I guess we'll talk about it off camera because there's definitely some projects that me and you need to actually. Uh, put together put together soon <laughs> yeah um the the podcast is taking i don't even know if it's done uploading uh, that thing. yeah so this one's a 1080p so hopefully this thing uploads a lot oh, faster because yes, even the last one is still uploading i was like good lord bro <laughs> and then, yeah and then i was like i should probably go back through and then edit it like add what we were talking about like put you know picture up and stuff like that since i guess we're not we're not using spotify anymore the for some reason, I don't know. I haven't had issues with it. Um, I'm finna when we leave here today. I'm finna like actually sit down and just like figure it out, figure stuff out. Yeah, I've been we've been trying to get other things situated so I could focus more on like what I what I want to do, what I'm trying to do and stuff. So it's like I, my mind's like elsewhere. Although yeah. like I was like I need to do, I want to do this but I need to do this so I don't know. that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 99 million things trying to get done. Yeah, and then you try to focus on everything at once and then nothing's getting done. Nothing at all. gets done. You gotta focus on one thing and that's how we're gonna end. Focus on one thing and knock it out and then yep, go exactly. to the next thing. Thank you guys for listening and watching this podcast. Yep, have a blessed one. Yep, peace, peace.